Hi dear student, welcome to my channel. So in this slot, we're going to discuss chapter 3, form 5, chapter 3, thermochemistry and chapter 4, uh, polymers. Alright, before I move on to the uh, thermochemistry chapter, please check here. Uh, there's one more uh, Ramalan heat of displacement and also heat of neutralization in this module. Please go through. Alright, so we move on to the thermochemistry. Thermochemistry is a study about heat change. Okay, what is the exothermic reaction? What is an exothermic reaction? And give me the example of exothermic reaction. Exothermic reaction is a, a chemical reaction where the heat energy is released to surrounding. All right, so example of exothermic reaction, please remember neutralization, combustion, okay, displacement, precipitation reaction. Example of endothermic reaction. Endothermic reaction uh, is a chemical reaction where heat is absorbed from the surrounding. Example of endothermic reaction, please remember photo, photosynthesis reaction. All right, uh, we try to check this question. Okay, so which of the following process absorb heat from surrounding? So the answer will be photosynthesis process. All right, now we move on to the uh, four type of heat of reaction. Number one is known as heat of displacement, heat of the reaction based on one mole. Okay, heat change when one mole of precipitate form from its ions of aqueous solution. Heat of displacement, heat change when one mole of metal ion is displaced from its salt solution by more electro positive metal. Heat of neutralization, heat change when one mole of water molecule form from the reaction between acid and alkali. Alright, heat of combustion, okay, heat change when one mole of substance which is fuel is burned completely in excess of oxygen under standard condition. Alright, uh, state example of endothermic reaction. Remember, endothermic reaction occur between the reactants. So, here we have reactants during A, we have reactant A, okay, this is A plus B. Alright, so this is B. So what will happen during endothermic reaction? The bond will breaking. So this is known as bond breaking reaction. The heat is absorbed to break the bonding. Alright, if let's say heat is absorbed to break the bonding is higher than the heat is released to form a bonding, the reaction is known as endothermic reaction. Example of endothermic reaction, photosynthesis, thermal decomposition of nitrate salt, thermal decomposition of carbonate salt, cracking of alkanes, alkanes dissolving ammonium salt. All right, dissolving ammonium salt in water, in salt water. And the last one, melting, boiling, and sublimation process. During physical change of matter, solid change into liquid, liquid change into gas. So this process is known as melting process. This process is known as boiling process. And solid change to gas is known as sublimation process. During this process, it is absorbed by the particles to overcome the forces of attraction. It is absorbed by the particle to break the bonding between the particle. So please remember sublimation, melting, boiling or evaporation Okay, is example of endothermic reaction. Why? Because it is absorbed from the surrounding to break the bonding or to overcome the forces of attraction between the particles. So remember endothermic reaction is known as what is known as bond breaking reaction is known as bond breaking breaking reaction. All right. So we move on to the next question. Please check this question. Which of the following statement is true about endothermic reaction? Endothermic reaction is known as bond breaking bond breaking reaction the heat is absorbed to break the bonding and exothermic reaction please remember exothermic reaction is bond forming forming reaction during exothermic reaction heat okay is released it is released to the surrounding to build a forces of attraction between the particle during endothermic reaction please remember en stand for enter so it's known as what heat is absorbed absorbed from the surrounding. All right, if let's say the heat is absorbed from the surrounding is higher than the heat is released to the surrounding, that reaction is known as endothermic reaction. So heat absorbed, okay, in breaking bonding is higher than heat released in bond forming is the answer, suitable answer for this question. All right, so we move on to the next question. State example of exothermic reaction. Exothermic reaction, please remember, is a bond forming reaction. During bond forming reaction, what will happen? It is released to the surrounding. All right, so example of exothermic reaction, combustion, neutralization, respiration, rusting of iron, rusting of iron okay reactivity of metal with a reactive metal react with water arbor process contact process and the reverse reaction from gas changing into liquid which is condensation process liquid changing into solid known as okay freezing process and one more gas changing into solid is known as deposition gas to solid all this is known as ex an exothermic reaction all right uh, we move on to the next question state the example of chemical substance that present in cold pack please remember ammonium ammonium salt ammonium salt and please remember one more is potassium 
nitrate even we can take sodium thiosulfate so all the answer is here all right please remember check this question okay which of the following chemicals will lower the temperature lower the temperature means heat okay is absorbed from the surrounding okay when it is absorbed from the surrounding the temperature surrounding temperature will drop so this is known as endothermic reaction endothermic reaction present in coal pack okay coal pack please remember ammonium ammonium salt so the answer will be d on to the next question will be hot pack all right uh, hot pack contains uh, calcium chloride magnesium sulfate sodium acetate all right magnesium chloride and hydrous copper 2 chloride and anhydrous potassium chloride they release it to surrounding all right please check this question okay when we have two set the set one we have different acid in set one we have we have hydrochloric acid this hydrochloric acid is known as strong acid and another acid in set 2 is known as ethanoic acid this ethanoic acid please remember weak acid strong acid please remember ionizes completely completely in water producing high concentration of hydrogen ion okay weak acid please remember it's ionizes ionizes partially in water producing lower concentration of hydrogen ion okay thus we can check here the heat of uh, neutralization this is under heat of neutralization so here is higher this one is higher and the second set okay your second set is lower 42.0 kilojoule per mole all right so uh we need to explain the differences in heat of neutralization so how to answer the heat of neutralization of set one is higher than heat of neutralization in set two hydrochloric acid used in uh, set one is strong acid while ethanoic acid used in set two is weak acid ethanoic acid we focus on ethanoic acid Okay, ethanoic acid ionizes partially in water producing lower concentration of hydrogen ion while hydrochloric acid ionizes completely in water producing high concentration of hydrogen ion thus during heat of neutralization in set 2 <coughs> in set 2 it is released okay and some of the heat is absorbed to further ionize the molecule of ethanoic acid number 11 okay a diagram below shows the displacement of zinc between zinc and copper 2 sulfate solution please remember copper 2 sulfate solution is a blue color solution here we have zinc copper 2 sulfate solution okay so when this is known as heat of displacement all right so uh please check the initial temperature 32.0 degrees celsius and 46.0 degrees celsius will be highest temperature all right so and the volume given here 50 cm power 3 and the concentration is 0 0.2 mole dm negative 3 is given mass of zinc please ignore all right so we try to do the chemical equation the chemical equation zinc react with copper to sulfate to produce zinc sulfate and copper we need to do we try to do ionic equation we try to do ionic equation zinc react with copper to sulfate solution copper to sulfate solution we will get zinc sulfate plus copper all right so this is chemical equation please remember when one metal one capital one small exists as atom one capital or uh, one metal one non-metal is exists as ion one metal one non-metal exists as ion and one capital one small exists as atom please remember sulfate ion and nitrate ion do not involve in the reaction so from here i have zinc this zinc exists as atom so we take zinc put here all right so next one we check here we have metal metal okay non-metal so exists as ion take the copper to ion put here and we have zinc okay exists as ion so we take zinc ion we put here copper exists as atom so we put here so if in the exam they ask ionic equation this is the answer all right so what is the observation here we check here what is the color of the solid deposited brown solid deposited and this is example of exothermic reaction so the thermometer reading will increase feels warmer when touch the plastic cup in this experiment we use polystyrene cup and can replace with plastic cup all right so state three observation first observation brown color solid deposited second observation the thermometer reading increases or feels warmer when touch the plastic cup and third observation will be remember this ion is a copper two sulfate solution is blue color solution will turns to colorless all right all this must remember why polystyrene cup is used in this experiment or plastic cup is used in this experiment please remember the answer polystyrene cup is good it is insulator it is used to minimize the heat loss to the surrounding all right why the initial temperature of copper two sulfate solution is recorded after three minutes this is to ensure copper two sulfate solution achieve thermal equilibrium state with surrounding temperature how do we uh why the zinc powder is added in excess why zinc powder is added in excess we check the 
ionic equation why we need to add it in excess to ensure all copper two ions all copper two ions is displaced displaced into copper copper atoms that is the motive of adding uh excess of zinc powder to ensure all copper two ions are displaced into copper atoms so that the reaction can be completed all right how to calculate the heat change heat change please remember q okay equals to mc theta Okay, M is calculate the mass. How to calculate the mass? Take the volume of water. Don't take the mass of solid. All right, so we take the volume of water times with 4.2 specific heat capacity and we find the theta. How to find the theta? Take the final temperature minus with initial temperature. So we get the answer change into kilojoule. If, okay, if question required to answer in joule, please do it in joule. If not, change it to kilojoule, keep it. All right, next, calculate the number of mole. Number of mole formula MV over 1000. Use this formula mv over 1000 so volume is given 50 volume is given 50 cm power 3 concentration is given 0 0.2 so apply in the formula try to get the number of mole how to determine the heat of displacement the heat of displacement please always remember okay heat of displacement q divide with n and when we see the temperature <coughs> temperature reading increases when we see the final temperature increases the reaction is hot Hot means what reaction? Hot means exothermic. Exothermic heat of the reaction must have negative symbol. When everything occur negative in our life, we should go down. The arrow going down. How to repair this? We turn right and here left. This is known as energy level diagram. Always remember when negative symbol, everything go down. All right. How to change this one? So we need to turn right and here left. All right. So that's how we draw the energy level diagram. So here write the reactants. Here write the products. All right, so heat of the reaction between reactant and product. So put negative symbol. All right, so this is the answer for the uh, heat of displacement. Try to do more question before your exam. Next, we move on to the heat of neutralization. Under heat of neutralization, heat of neutralization is known as heat change when one mole of water molecule form from the reaction between acid and alkali. So here they take hydrochloric acid. Here they take hydrochloric acid <coughs> reacted with potassium hydroxide alkali. Potassium hydroxide alkali. Please check the volume volume 50 cm power 3 2.0 mole dm negative 3 is the concentration same all right so here we give they given two initial temperature if two initial temperature is given please find average average initial temperature please find average initial temperature 28.0 plus with 29.0 divide with 2 all right and try to find the theta so how to find the theta so is here so the final temperature will be 28 point uh, average initial temperature will be 28.5 28.5 minus with the 41.5 so the temperature increases when temperature increases hot hot means what reaction xo xo heat of the reaction should have negative symbol everything going down turn right turn left this is how we draw energy level diagram write down the chemical equation given observation thermometer reading increases a colorless solution is formed a salt solution is formed all right okay and uh, the why we use polystyrene cup is good heat insulator it is used to minimize the heat loss to surrounding why the initial temperature of sodium chloride solution is recorded after three minutes to ensure the hydrochloric acid achieve thermal equilibrium state with surrounding temperature state one safety precaution look at the diagram safety precaution the sulfuric acid is added sorry hydrochloric acid is added so we need to add it quickly so here, remember, we need to add it quickly and carefully into plastic cup or polystyrene cup containing potassium hydroxide solution. So what is the answer? Hydrochloric acid is added quickly and carefully into polystyrene cup containing potassium hydroxide solution. Find the average initial temperature, then find the heat change, mc theta, total up total volume. Total volume is 50 plus 50, 100 times 4.2 is uh, our specific heat capacity. Find the theta. Okay, theta, find a final temperature minus with average initial temperature. So change it to kilojoule. How to find the number of mole? When the volume and concentration of acid or alkali given here same, find one enough. If let's say the volume and concentration is given uh, different, find both and take the lowest number of mole. So here I take one. Okay, so MV over 1000. How to determine heat of displacement? Q divide with N, make sure put negative symbol. All right, if this experiment is repeated with uh, by replacing potassium hydroxide solution with the same concentration of ammonium solution, ammonia solution, okay, it is found the value of heat of neutralization is less. Here, the heat of neutralization is higher. So here we have set one. Set one, they use hydrochloric acid react with potassium hydroxide, the value of heat of neutralization negative 54.6 then they replace the experiment with set two 
they replace hydrochloric acid, they replace potassium hydroxide with weak alkali. This is weak alkali. Then it is found the heat of neutralization is 48.3 kilojoule per mole. Why? Because this alkali is weak alkali. This is strong alkali. How to answer? Potassium hydroxide used in this experiment is strong alkali, while ammonia solution is weak alkali. Ammonia solution ionizes partially in water, producing lower concentration of hydroxide ion. During neutralization, it is released, and some of the heat is used. We can change it to absorb. Absorb to further ionize the molecules of ammonia. All right, uh, we move on to the next one. We check your question or not. <clears throat> All right, we move on to the next one. All right, check this question. Okay, heat of combustion. What is mean by heat of combustion? Heat change when one mole of substance is burned completely in excess of oxygen. All right, so here we given, uh, we use copper can, <coughs> not plastic cup, copper can. Okay, the heat release from this uh, combustion of methanol. Methanol CH3OH, please remember. All right, so methanol is alcohol. What is the general formula of alcohol? CNH2N plus 1OH. Methanol apply N1, so CH3OH. All right, if let's say they use ethanol, ethanol, please apply N2, C2H5OH. All right. Okay, so the mass of lamp before burning is given, after burning is given, temperature 30 degrees Celsius and highest temperature 60 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the temperature reading is increases. When increases the reaction odd, odd means what reaction? XO. XO heat of the reaction should have negative symbol, arrow going down, turn right, turn left. All right, must remember all this. Okay, write down the chemical equation in this experiment. The already given chemical equation we try to do for ethanol, C2H5OH react with oxygen so what product we will get carbon dioxide and water balance the carbon carbon 2 so i put carbon 2 all right next calculate total hydrogen 5 plus 1 6 so here i put 3 times 2 6 calculate total oxygen on our right hand side here oxygen we have 4 okay here we have 3 so total 7 we already have one oxygen here don't disturb this compound we already balance carbon and hydrogen atom in ethanol molecule so 1 plus 6 will be 7 so how to get 6 here 3 times 2 6 so we already balance the equation make sure this compound always in one mole ethanol always in one mole all right so we already do for methan methanol all right so why the copper tin is used here we use copper tin so that copper tin is good conductor of heat thus it can transfer the heat release from the combustion of methanol to the water so that the thermometer reading can detect the temperature change why we cannot use biogauss <coughs> Look at the diagram. Here we cannot use the wire gauss. Why cannot use wire gauss? This experiment is conducted without using wire gauss. Wire gauss might absorb some of the heat released out during the combustion of methanol. We don't want this. Why windshield is used to protect the flame? Why? Why windshield is used in this experiment to protect the flame from being blown off by the wind or uh, wind current? Okay, this will minimize heat loss to surrounding. Okay, explain why the spirit lamp and its content is weighted immediately. Please remember alcohol or even ester. These two liquid is known as what liquid? Volatile liquid. Okay, and it can evaporate, evaporate easily. All right, so then we need to calculate the mass of methanol used before and after. Okay, take the mass of methanol before which is 250 minus with 246.80, we will get 2.0. Here, how to calculate number of mole? N equals to mass over molar mass. Molar mass of what? Molar mass of CH3OH. Please use the molar mass of methanol. So this is the answer. All right, this is the answer. The number of mole will be 0 0.1. How to calculate each change in this experiment? Each change QMC theta. So apply here. Please remember, don't use the mass of Okay, mass of methanol. Don't use the mass of methanol. Okay, the heat is transferred to where? Transfer to the water. Okay, please remember to use the volume of water. The volume of water used here is 200 cm power 3. So use the 200 cm power 3 as a 200 gram. All right, so please remember, use the volume of water and 4.2 and find the theta temperature change and try to change it to kilojoule, which is 25.2. Okay, how to determine heat? of combustion heat of combustion heat change q divide with n please remember so apply in the formula make sure put a negative symbol make sure put unit and how to write down the energy level diagram how to write down the energy level diagram okay so here we have to write down the energy level diagram all right please remember when negative symbol okay arrow going down turn right turn left okay so here turn turn right and here left look at this question all right so we try to read this question together 
Okay, diagram 37 shows the apparatus setup to determine the heat of displacement of copper. So the chemical equation is given and the heat of direction is given. Once given like this, please change it to mc theta. So here mc theta divided with n. All right, so uh, read the question. The initial temperature 27, volume 50 cm power 3 and concentration 0 0.1 mole dm negative 3 is given. So we try to read the question. They want the highest temperature of the uh, reach in this reaction. Therefore, they want the final temperature. So how to do this question? So from this one, okay, heat of direction mc theta divide with n. Okay, first step, we need to find the number of moles. So I put here number of moles mb over 1000. So the mole concentration 0 0.1 times 50 divide with 1000. So the answer will be 0. Point, sorry, answer will be 0 0.005 mole. All right, please check the concentration. The concentration given in this reaction is 0 0.1. The volume is 50. So this will be volume. This will be molarity. So I apply. I try to find the number of moles. So now I already find the number of moles. Okay, now I try to do what? I try to change the heat of the reaction. Heat of the reaction given in the question is 210. So I put here 210 kilojoule. I change it to joule times with 1000. Okay, so I will get 21000 joule all right so next i try to apply in this question in this formula in this formula heat of the reaction m c theta divide with n all right so the m c theta 21000 okay m will be 50 m will be please check m will be volume 50 so i apply in the formula okay c will be 4.2 i try to find the theta divide with 0 0.005 more all right now i try to find theta how to find theta 21000 Okay, times with 0 0.005, divide with 50 times with 4.2. Okay, we try to find this answer, 1050 divide with 210, so the 5.0 uh, degrees Celsius. All right, so how we find theta, how we find theta, final temperature minus with initial, initial temperature. So the uh, theta given to us is 5.0 degrees Celsius. Final temperature we need to find. Okay, the initial temperature is given in the question. Where is the initial temperature? Try to check the initial temperature, 27.0. So put in the formula, initial temperature is 27.0. So try to get the final temperature. The final temperature will be 27.0 plus with 5.0, which is 32.0 degrees Celsius. All right, the answer will be C. Okay, please try to do more questions. Move on to the next one, uh, polymer. <coughs> Under polymer, what is uh, mean by polymer? What is polymer? Long chain molecule that form from the combination of many small identical many small identical repeating uh, basic unit so we can put here basic unit basic unit known as monomer so what is mean by monomer the small identical molecule that form basic unit for a polymer polymerization reaction we have two type of polymerization number one is known as addition polymerization another one is known as condensation polymerization okay it's a process of what is mean by polymerization is a process of combining monomer to form a long chain molecule known as uh, polymer the monomers will combine in repeating sequences form long chain known as polymer okay this polymer is a macro polymer a macro molecule with large rmm value relative molecular mass all right uh, we move on to the polymer the classification of polymer based on the polymerization reaction and sources all right so here we check the sources of polymerization polymer we have natural polymer and synthetic polymer so natural polymer the protein what is the monomer of protein polymer is long chain Polymer is long chain. Monomer is small basic unit that form the polymer. So the monomer of protein is known as amino acid. The monomer of starch or carbohydrate or cellulose is known as glucose. All right. So the natural rubber, we have two names. Please remember isoprene or 2-methylbut-1,3-diene. Okay. DNA is your nucleotide and fat will be fatty acid and glycerol. Please check this question. Okay, which of the polymer is paired correctly? Which of the polymer is paired correctly? So they give you monomer. So here will be polymer. This will be polymer. All right. So the isoprene is polyisoprene. So wrong. Glucose will be a uh, carbohydrate. Wrong. Amino acid will be protein. Correct. Propene, <coughs> propene will be polypropene. Wrong. So the answer will be C. All right. Try to check this question. This question. So the, what is the name of the process? So here the polymers. This is known as monomer. Monomer is combining in repeating sequences form long chain, long chain. And this is known as polymerization reaction. Please remember all this question. All right, uh, we move on to the next question. 
All right, we move on to the next question. Please check here. Okay, polymer X. Polymer X, uh, polymer X uh, is a long chain made up of glucose. Okay, glucose C6H12O6. O6. So what is the name of the polymer X or uh, polymer X will be starch. All right, starch, cellulose or carbohydrate. Please remember all these type of questions. These are two type of polymerization when they made up of same, same type of monomers. Same type of monomers that is known as addition polymerization. So what is meant by addition polymerization? Addition polymerization involves same monomer. The monomer with same functional group. Remember, they have same functional functional group that have double bond covalent bond between the molecules of carbon atoms okay alkenes undergo addition polymerization during addition polymerization the double covalent bond double covalent bond will break and form single covalent bond okay between the atoms of carbon carbon nearby monomers all right please check one more if let's say in the exam they give like this all right so this is made up of different different types different types of monomers different type of monomers they have different functional group when they combine and form polymer what type of polymerization this will be condensation condensation polymerization give me example of condensation polymerization please remember nylon and one more terylene all right <clears throat> we move on to the next part okay the next part will be base characteristic of polymer and the example all right so this is known as a uh, thermoplastic the polymers the synthetic polymers is classified into three group known as thermoplastic this thermoplastic no no cross link please remember when no cross link it will be soft the polymers can slide over easily and this polymer can uh, can be repeatedly remold and can be recycled Okay, and when thermoplastic is heated, the polymers can slide over. Why can slide over? There is no crosslink present between the polymer molecules. All right, thus they are soft. Okay, uh, when the thermoplastic is cool, the polymer chain will stick one another. The polymer stick one another and become other. What is the properties of thermoplastic polymer? Not heat resistant, elastic, bend easily, light and can be mold. Polyethylene, PVC, nylon, polystyrene, perspex. Please remember. Okay, another one is known as thermosetting polymer or thermoset polymer. This thermoset polymer contains crosslink. Okay, there's a cross link between the polymer molecule. So when there's a cross link between the polymer molecule, so cannot be remold after eating. Okay, it can be remold once only. All right, so and disintegrate or burn upon eating. And the properties of thermoset or thermosetting polymer is known as heat resistant, hard, long lasting, can be mold once only. Please remember this diagram. This diagram is made up of what? Bakelite, melamine, epoxy. Please remember, elastoma. So elastoma is the third type of synthetic polymer. Elastoma is a polymer that has a elastic properties like rubber can be stretched and can return to original shape when released. Eye elastic properties. It, what is the properties of this one? Eye elastic properties. Please remember styrene, butadiene. Again, okay, natural rubber or one more polyisoprene. Polyisoprene, another name for natural rubber. Please check this question. Which of the following, which of the following example is elastoma? Elastoma, please remember SBR rubber or polyisoprene. One more name for polyisoprene is known as natural rubber. Natural rubber. So this is answer will be D. Okay, look at question number seven. The draw the monomer of the polymer given. How to draw the monomer of this polymer? So here this bond. Okay, we try to get the monomer is this. So one monomer, this is second monomer, this will be third monomer. So what I do, I try to draw one monomer is here. Then this will be CH3. And this monomer, please remember, monomer must have C double bond C. So here put double bond. And this is belongs to alkene compound. Alkene compound, please check how many N. One, two, three. So N3 will be, what is the name of N3? So the answer will be propene so the monomer will be propene and the structural formula of the monomer is given and this process is known as depolymerization write the chemical equation write the chemical equation when polyvinyl chloride or pvc pvc undergo addition polymerization remember the monomer name of pvc is known as chloro chloroethene and the structural formula c double bond c bonding 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 so here h h here c l h this is the structural formula Right, so we try to draw the structural formula. It will undergo addition polymerization. Just break, okay, break the C double bond C, change it to C single bond. All right, so the answer is given here. Please check. All right, so we try to do one question here. Raincoat made up of synthetic polymer. Raincoat is made up of synthetic polymer. 
to a polyvinylchloride. Which of the following is the structural formula of the monomer? So the structural formula of the monomer will be chloroethene. The structural formula will be C double bond bonding 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 H H H here C L. So the answer will be C. <coughs> All right, we go for next one. Okay, write down the type of uh, more, uh, equation when the monomer polyethene undergo polymerization. Polyethene, the name of the monomer will be monomer will be take the N word ethene. Okay, eating the structural formula of the monomer will be C double bond. Okay, H H H H. So this one we open bracket, we close the bracket, we put N and we remove the double bond. We break the double bond, make it single bond. All right. So this is the equation given here. All right. So we move on to the next question. All right. Next question is uh, nylon. All right. Nylon is uh, made up of condensation. Please remember the nylon experiment is very important. Condensation polymerization. And this nylon, the monomer name of the nylon, please remember the monomer name of the nylon will be decan. Decan diol dichloride. Okay, the decan diol dichloride. The structural formula of decan diol dichloride, we put here CH2, then here we put C, C double bond O, then CL. So here C double bond O, CL. So this is the structural formula of the monomer of uh, nylon, nylon polymer. And there's one more monomer here. Please remember 1,6 xane, xane diamine. All right, so here please change on this one, 8. All right, please change this one eight. All right, so exane uh, one comma six exane diamine. All right, uh, will be uh, like this CH two. So here we put six N. So nitrogen, hydrogen. So here we put N hydrogen and nitrogen during uh, this uh, condensation polymerization removal of what will occur removal of hydrogen chloride okay so if in the exam they ask removal of what molecule please remember removal of what molecule that will be hydrogen hydrogen chloride molecule so this hydrogen chloride and uh, will combine together and form hydrogen and chloride will combine together and form hydrogen chloride molecule so we try to check the question here so what is the name of the solution a Solution A and we have solution B. All right, so solution A and solution B. So this is decan, decan diol, diol dichloride solution. And one more will be 1,6 exane, 1,6 exane diamine. All right, so what is the type of polymerization undergo by nylon condensation polymerization? All right, solution A will be decan dichloride, uh, decan diol dichloride. Solution B will be 1,6 exane diamine molecule. All right, so we try to check the name of the, uh, the name of the molecule that remove will be hydrogen chloride molecules. All right, so during addition of uh, this process, we need to add a few drops of concentrated sodium hydroxide solution. We try to check here. We need to add few drops of concentrated uh, hydrochloric acid solution. So why we need to add concentrated hydrochloric acid solution? So we already got the nylon. Nylon plus hydrogen chloride molecule. This hydrogen chloride molecule can cause side reaction. Side reaction. And please remember one of the properties of nylon. One is the one of the disadvantages of nylon. Nylon can dissolve dissolve in concentrated acid so what will happen so it can dissolve the nylon so we don't want this to dissolve nylon so the hydrogen chloride will be reacted with sodium hydroxide okay to turn into salt and water sodium chloride and water please remember so the answer will be the answer will be the uh, the byproduct of this reaction is hydrogen chloride molecule. Hydrogen chloride molecule can cause side reaction and can dissolve the nylon form. Concentrated sodium hydroxide solution is added to neutralize the hydrogen chloride molecule to salt and water. All right, state another type of uh, another type of polymer that undergo the same polymerization reaction that will be terylene. What is the name of the monomer that we mentioned here? One comma two ethane diol terephthalic acid. Please remember. Okay, what is the uses of nylon? It's used to make fishing net, parachute, nylon cloth, uh, nylon rope, socks, all that. Okay, and the properties of nylon, white color and can be colored easily. Nylon rope condition uh, after stretching do not break and very strong and elastic. Nylon rope in the presence of concentrated acid, dissolve in concentrated acid. Nylon rope in the presence of uh, alkaline solution, no reaction. In organic solvent, dissolve very slowly. And remember, nylon is non-toxic substance. Okay, please remember this question. We try to do this question. Which of the following material produce uh, from the condensation polymerization? Condensation polymerization, please remember, number one is nylon. Number two is terylene. Please remember terylene. So answer will be B, terylene. 
All right. So we move on to the next one. <coughs> next one. State the uh, state the type of properties of synthetic polymer. The properties of synthetic polymer will be very stable. Do not decompose or decay easily in the presence of oxygen or water or sunlight. And is inert, light and hard and strong. Non-flammable, low density, relatively cheap, easy to mold, reshape and color. All right. So what is the uses of uh, synthetic polymer, medicine, packaging, coating, uh, safety and textile. Okay. Poly and polypropylene is used as prothesis, the devices that install in outer body of human part, okay, that missing due to the illness or accident. PPE suit, please remember PPE suit is made up of polypropylene. Packaging, please remember polystyrene. Polystyrene is used to make poly packaging, uh, packaging container, electrical good, disposable cup and uh, food container. Teflon, what is the name of the monomer of Teflon? Please remember tetra fluoro, fluoroethene. The structural formula of Teflon, C double bond C, so here 1F, 1F, another F, here another F, okay, we have 4F, okay, I redraw again, alright, so C double bond C, Y bonding, 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 we have tetra fluoro, so we have 4F, this is used as non-stick uh, cookware due to the inert, uh, inert, uh, non-stick inert and impermeable properties. Kevlar, please remember Kevlar is used in bulletproof vest, uniform, fire, ferment, uh, and helmet soldier because it has re heat resistant and strong properties. Bakelite is used to make electrical switch cookware handle due to the good electrical and heat insulator. Nylon is used to make tiny fishing net, parachute, socks, now, uh, nylon clothes rope. Terrilene is used to make cloth, sail cloth, parachute, all that. All right, please remember all these. Okay, look at question number 13. So, the widespread of non biodegradable synthetic uh, polymers had caused serious impact to the environment. Describe the impact to the environment uh, caused by this polymer. Some polymers are stable and take longer time to disintegrate and can cause serious or various problems. Okay, because of the stable properties of the synthetic polymer make them useful, but at the same time they are very difficult to decay or decompose due to the non-biodegradable. So uh, here we can explain this one due uh, by using all right, uh, by using this example one length. So the waste of synthetic polymer, the waste of synthetic polymer that is non-biodegradable has caused blockage to our DNA system and caused flesh blood. All right, so a plastic container that not dispose, not dispose properly can become a breeding ground for mosquito and can spread diseases like dengue or malaria. Okay, plastic waste uh, water. Next, we go for water. Land finish, we go for water. Plastic waste contaminate the lake and river uh, with the chemical causing the water is not suitable for aquatic living things. It will alter alter the pH value. Please remember, alter the pH value of the water and can kill the aquatic living things. Marine pollution causes many marine creatures to die and the plastic waste to enter the food chain. Now we move on to the air. So air is here. Burning of synthetic polymer waste openly can cause or uh, can release toxic waste to the environment that are pungent, acidic, poisonous, which can contaminate the air. This causes greenhouse effect and acid rain. Okay, the raw material for making synthetic polymer is petroleum. This petroleum diminish and non-renewable sources of uh, sources of energy. In line of money, so we need to describe various methods method to overcome this problem. There are a few uh, number of ways to overcome the pollution uh, problem uh, by using only from the using of synthetic polymers. So that uh, will be recycle, recycle, reuse, disposing the synthetic polymer in a proper way and the use of biodegradable or photodegradable synthetic polymer. All right, uh, we try to check the recycle. Recycle and reuse is the easiest way to consumer to uh, to ensure that synthetic polymers is no, do not end up in landfill. Plastic can be decomposed uh, by eating them without presence of oxygen at temperature of 700 degrees Celsius. This is called pyrolysis. The process, product of this process is then recycled into new product. The introduction of biodegradable uh, polymers or photodegradable polymers by mixing the polymer with additive like such can decompose by microorganism okay, uh, to become a biodegradable or decompose by Lee. Uh, light to become photodegradable. The synthetic plastic waste can be burned in close furnace and the toxic gas are filtered and absorbed before discharge into the river. Please go through the module and try to get uh, understand the points. All right, uh, we go for next one. State the name of the monomer of natural rubber. The monomer of natural rubber for objective question, please remember this one. For subjective question, please remember one more two methyl. Methyl but one comma three die in please remember so the name of the monomer is given here and how to draw the structural formula so we have two methyl 
methyl but 1 comma 3 di in so we have but but 4 carbon 1 2 3 4 we have 1 and 3 carbon number 1 carbon number 3 is here 1 2 3 after carbon number 1 the double bond start after carbon number 1 3 the double bond start so it is the number so uh, carbon number 2 this is carbon number 2 we have branch what is the name of the branch we have methyl methyl start at carbon number 2 so here is the methyl each carbon must have four bonding don't put bonding here all right so here 1 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is the structural formula of monomer of natural rubber is given here Please check isoprene or 2 methyl but 1 to RNA 1 comma 3 diene. Write the chemical equation if the monomer undergo addition polymerization. So I try to draw the structural formula of try to draw the structural formula of monomer of natural rubber. So this is the structural formula of the monomer of natural rubber. So what we have to do, we cut the C double bond. We cut all this, we cut all this. And we try to draw here C double bond, C single bond, C double bond like this. And make sure the side is empty. So I erase this, erase this. This one I bring on the top. This one I bring down. Okay, this one I write here CH3. And this one we do here H. This one I bring on the top. This one I bring down. Alright, this is the monomer of natural rubber. So we put N like this. Alright, so we try to do this. Uh, monomer will undergo addition polymerization. Draw this one. Okay, when we see the double bond, make it single bond. When we see single bond, make it double bond. When we see double bond, make it single bond. That's all. Alright, so erase all this. Alright, so each carbon, the rest structure follow exactly like monomer CH3. So H. So here H. So here H. Open bracket, close bracket. This monomer will re combined in repeating sequences this is the uh, equation that we need to write for the addition polymerization of natural rubber is given here okay please try to do revision all right uh, if let's say a uh, chemical substance that will coagulate the latex will coagulate the latex coagulation of latex means in the liquid form it will turn into solid form it will turn into solid form. That will be the coagulation of lactate. The substance that needed is methanoic acid, ethanoic acid, formic acid. The substance that maintain the lactate in liquid form okay, is known as prevent uh, coagulation of lactate. The substance that can prevent the coagulation of lactate will be ammonia solution or ammonium hydroxide solution. Please check this question. All right, this question given five marks. Okay, uh, draw the uh, so first question will be state the three properties of three properties of natural rubber. Three properties of natural rubber. Three properties of natural rubber. This natural rubber if soft, okay, this is known as elastic. Elastic, okay, cannot, okay, cannot withstand withstand oxidation, or we can put easily can undergo oxidation. easily undergo oxidation or cannot withstand oxidation soft melt easily okay cannot withstand high temperature all that is an important characteristic of natural rubber okay next uh, draw the structural formula of the monomer and try to name the IUPAC IUPAC name so I try to draw the structural formula so I name the IUPAC to methyl methyl but 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 die in so this is the IUPAC name for the monomer of natural rubber we try to draw but 1 comma 1 2 3 4 we have 1 carbon number 1 double bond after carbon number 3 double bond okay so we have but methyl present at carbon number 2 so here is the methyl try to break the structure each carbon must have 4 bonding 1 2 3 4 5 so please do like this all right, so we move on to the next part. Okay, uh, describe the coagulation of latex. Describe coagulation of latex. Please remember coagulation of latex. Latex that we obtain from the bark of a rubber tree. So this is latex. This latex contains rubber particles. Rubber particles are covered. Rubber uh, contains rubber polymer. This is rubber polymer. This is the polymer. This rubber polymer is covered by protein. Okay, protein membrane protein membrane the surface of protein membrane please remember is negatively charged and this is known as rubber rubber particles rubber particles all right so we try to draw the rubber particle we try to name run it label this one this is protein protein membrane all right so this is rubber rubber polymers all right, so rubber polymers. So we need to describe this one. The point is given here. Rubber particles made up of rubber polymer, uh, okay, which covered by protein membrane. The surface of protein membrane is negatively charged. So write down here 
negatively negatively charged all right so the like charges causes what repel they will repel each other the like charges or the same negative charges that present on the surface of protein membrane causes what the rubber particles is repel each other this prevent the coagulation of latex we don't want the rubber the protein membrane we only want the rubber polymer so we need to add a substance so we need to add a substance what substance will be added we need to add a substance so that substance will be meter norvic acid or please remember formic acid in laboratory we will add ether novic acid so meter novic acid is added into the latex so one mark so the hydrogen ion from the meter novic acid so here we write hydrogen hydrogen ion please label the diagram please label the diagram this is known as what ion hydrogen ion the hydrogen ion from the meter novic acid will neutralize the negative charges on the surface of protein membrane thus neutral particles or neutral rubber particles is formed the neutral rubber particle will collide each other this will break up the protein membrane the rubber polymers are set free the rubber polymer will start to coagulate and combine together and form large lump Okay, look at question number 19. Refers to the uh, table diagram given here. The latex is left untreated. That means they never add, they never add meter novic acid. And after a few hours, we can check after a few hours, it coagulate itself. Explain the situation. So what uh, we need to explain here, the rubber particles are made up of, rubber particles are made up of rubber molecules or rubber polymers that envelope or covered by protein membrane or negatively charged protein membrane the rubber particles repel each other after few hours bacteria in the uh, latex that enter through the air okay will feed on the protein membrane this bacteria will produce what acid it will produce lactic acid please remember it will produce lactic acid okay and produces lactic acid so I put here producers lactic acid. Okay, the hydrogen ions from the acid will neutralize the protein uh, uh, negative charges on the protein membrane. The neutral particle will collide each other, causing the protein membrane to be broken. The polymers okay are released and coiled together, thus is coagulated. How to prevent this situation by adding ammonia solution? How to prevent this situation by adding ammonia? ammonia solution or ammonium hydroxide solution by adding ammonia solution ammonia solution will supply hydroxide ion so ammonia solution nh3 so we have water in the latex so it will ionize to produce hydroxide ion this one will join here it will form ammonium ion and the hydroxide ion hydroxide ion will add more negative charges to the rubber particles and will make sure the rubber particles always collide each other it's also provide alkaline alkaline medium and kill all the uh, all the bacteria and it's also neutralize neutralize the hydrogen hydrogen ion produced by the lactic acid okay please remember all this all right so we have two type of rubber one is vulcanized rubber and uh, natural rubber why vulcanized rubber is more elastic always remember vulcanized rubber is more elastic than unvulcanized rubber why the forces natural rubber the forces of attraction between the rubber molecules are weak why because in natural rubber no sulfur sulfur cross link Please remember, no sulfur cross-link. That means the forces of attraction between the rubber molecules or rubber polymers are weak. When we stretch it, rubber molecule can slide over each other and unable to return it to its original position. Thus, rubber loses its elasticity. Alright, so we go for vulcanized rubber. The sulfur atoms are added to the carbon-carbon double covalent bond. Double covalent bond and this will form sulfur cross-links between the rubber polymers or rubber molecule. When we stretch the sulfur cross-link, prevent the rubber molecule from sliding over each other and able to return to its original position thus vulcanized rubber is more elastic please check this question please check this question the latex is collected at 8 a.m and uh, after 7 p.m it takes duration longer period of time it's coagulate itself without uh, adding any coagulant all right so without adding any acid so here what will happen the bacteria okay the bacteria will feed on the protein membrane Feed on the protein membrane and produce lactic acid. The lactic acid produced is lower. Okay, is uh, the concentration of hydrogen ion is lower, so it will take a longer period of time to coagulate. And when we add acid, ethanoic acid, the coagulation occur at faster rate. So the answer, what is the best statement? Statement explain the situation. So we try to check question number A. Coagulation of latex, net, uh, latex naturally due to the secretion of lactic acid 
in a very small quantity by bacteria causes the coagulation take place very slowly compared to uh, latex with coagulant and that coagulant is a uh, ethanoic acid so the answer will be a please remember all right so next one we move on to the last part of this chapter all right try to check this essay question very important state the meaning of vulcanization process describe the experiment to investigate elasticity of vulcanized and natural rubber in description include diagram procedure observation conclusion and draw the formation of surface crosslink so first question what is mean by vulcanization process is a process of forming sulfur crosslink crosslink between the polymer uh, chain of rubber molecule to produce rubber that is more elastic better quality than the natural rubber okay the drawing try to draw like this try to draw and try to label the procedure measure and cut the procedure measure and cut vulcanized rubber okay and natural rubber strip about 10 cm record the initial length of the vulcanized rubber strip and natural rubber strip clamp both rubber strip on the retort stand using a uh, clip okay and hang 50 gram of weight at the end of the both rubber uh, strip using clip measure and record the length of rubber strip after it is stretched remove the weight and record the length of the rubber strip so observation we can write like this Okay, observation vulcanized rubber uh, return to its original length after the weight is removed. Okay, 50 gram is uh, weight is removed while natural rubber does not return to uh, its original length after the weight is removed. Conclusion, vulcanized rubber is more elastic than natural rubber. Alright, so the last question they want us to draw. Draw the formation of cross link. So we try to draw like this. I try to draw here. I try to draw. We draw three omba like this. One. Two. Omba. So here two sulfur atom is added. So here two must make sure put cross link. Okay, here two sulfur atom. Okay, here two sulfur atom. So here two sulfur atom. So this is the one for we need to draw for vulcanized uh, rubber. All right. So we move on to the next question. Check here. The natural rubber is added in solution X and it's turned into vulcanized rubber. More elastic. What is the name of the uh name of the solution? Please remember di sulfur disulfur dichloride dichloride solution please remember disulfur disulfuride solution all right uh that's all for chapter three and chapter four i will meet up y'all in next slot for chapter five and also uh 15 16 experiment 16 experiments so uh, uh we meet up in next slot take care bye bye see y'all